USB Entertainment is me, Soldier Boy. I go there with you, Soldier's Nation. Baby girl, I will stay with you. Sokota I will be with you. Baby girl, I'm in love with you. Hello, baby girl. Hello. You know, anytime I talk to you on phone, I always told you that I love you. So I decided to do this for you. And for the sake of our love, baby, I love you. Listen to this, please. I go there for you. Anything you want, I go do for you, God. What's up? My name is Soja Boy, aka Baby Love from 90 Days Fancy. Um, on the 16th of April, that will mark fourth anniversary of Josh and Ali together. Uh, I want to surprise Ali. You know, this is a surprise from Josh to Ali. But I also want to contribute in this surprise. Happy anniversary to you, Ali and Josh, for making it you know together for four years and um i would like to tell you that i know that you guys are my fans i really appreciate you being my fans i love all my fans thank you so very much and please stay safe stay home may god almighty save us from this problem that the whole world is into i mean the pandemic bye aloha hey ali Ali, four years. Four years. I can't that's in, wait. That's in a few days, too. Can't make Coming it. up. I want to make it four years. We just made it a year, you know. You know, people... We're coming along. ...have asked us, like, marriage advice and stuff, but honestly, I would ask them marriage advice. Mm -hmm. God, I wish I could talk to them right now face Does it get face. easier? No, Does it? Fine. No, it doesn't. But anyways, you guys sound like you have, like, a really awesome marriage going on, and four years, that's something to be super proud about. And I Josh just, sounds like a good guy. I mean, he's booking cameos for you for your anniversary. Like, that's good stuff. Your game's so weak. <laughs> but we just hope you guys are doing well through quarantine. I know Jamie and I are having to learn and readjust some things with each other. Learn to be around each other all the time. It's a lot. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. And just, we had to spend our one year anniversary under quarantine. So you guys can definitely rock it out at four years. No, they're good to go. Oh, he's probably got it on lockdown if he's booking cameos. Josh is going to blow but, it out the water. Mm. But happy anniversary, guys. And we hope to make it to four years like you. Cheers. Bye. Hey, Ali. It's Puggy Smalls here. So Josh has been in touch and said that it's your fourth wedding anniversary. So here's an extra special high five from Puggy Smalls. For your anniversary high five for ali puggy good boy just said you might even like pugs more than you like him but yeah we'll, we'll be the judge of that and while puggy's chomping on that chew he wants to show you his wife pop sausage he takes the photo everywhere with him <laughs> have a fantastic day guys lots of love puggy and josh hey ali it's high pitch i heard you were josh for fans from way back my quarantine is going okay. I hope your quarantine is going okay as well. And your fourth <coughs> anniversary is 416, the day of my birthday. And this is a surprise cameo for Ali. So I want to wish you a happy anniversary and peace and love. Peace and love. Love you. Josh contacted us to wish you a happy fourth anniversary, Allie, from Philomena and Penny. Can you wave, Phil? Can you wave? Okay. How about you, Penny? Just Phil's waving. Can you say happy anniversary? Can you say happy anniversary? Happy anniversary, Allie, from Philomena the Pug. Hey, Allie, this is from Josh, who adores you and tells me that you have your fourth wedding anniversary. So, happy anniversary, darling. I heard you're a big fan of the show. Thank you so much for that. Um, your anniversary is April 16th. Remember, money can't buy you class, but it can buy you lots of champagne to celebrate, which you should be doing. So, with all that's going on in the world, celebrate. I wish you all the best and that you're well and you're safe and enjoy peace and love for me. The Countess, remember, chic, c'est la vie, c'est bon, c'est bon. Sending love and kisses for me.
Hi, Allie. It's Sophia the Pug here. This cameo is coming in courtesy of your husband, Josh. Sophie, okay, I told you to wait for the tromping until I gave you the cue, and I have not given you the cue yet, but I guess we'll just jump straight to the tromping, so that's okay. Anyways, Allie, we just wanted to say hello. Your husband, Josh, messaged us and said uh, that you love pugs maybe even more than you love him, which is uh, some pretty big devotion. He also let us know that your fourth anniversary is coming up on the 16th. So we just wanted to say happy anniversary. Um, and we just wanted to give you some chomps. This was when you were supposed to start chomping, but you just chomped the entire time instead. So anyways, uh, we hope you guys have a wonderful anniversary and you're staying safe and healthy. Um, anyways, thanks for being great fans. Happy anniversary. Bye. Good girl. Hello, Allie. Josh reached out to us. Let us know that you're having your fourth wedding anniversary. Really, really glad and really happy that you're actually going through that. Me and Cranny have been married for uh, two years now, working on our third year. I'm really glad, and I'm just a pleasure to know that when he popped the question, you said yes. So I'm really glad that he popped the question, you said yes, and you've made it through to your fourth year, okay? I think it's absolutely amazing. Let me be careful of this thing, because the last time I put this thing out of my little thing here, my, my phone died. And yes, it's a shower curtain. Cranny wanted a closet door, and I ended up going to Walmart getting a shower curtain. I'm not Mr. Fix-It. I'm sure Josh would do a whole lot better job. So, Karini, you're eating your rice and beans and your loving Calabresa. Uh, they've been married four years. Congratulations. Give us some advice, anything like that. I'm going to tell you on um, it's okay. You're eating for two. It's okay. It's one. Happy congratulations and what? Congratulations. I hope you have a good wedding. They've been married four years. They had a great wedding, I'm sure. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Congratulations. And I hope you have a good time. Be safe and careful. And advice on, well, they've been married four years, so they probably don't need advice. But what do you have any advice about even like marriage? What do you think? Trust. Trust. Faithfulness. Loyalty. Mm -hmm. Help. Yeah, help. Um, I think you need be respect. Yeah, respect. What else? Respect. Mm -hmm. Um... I don't remember now. Sorry. Ow! So, I'm so sorry. I'm very mess. I know, but all the time, Karin, you're very mess. This is my quarantine. It's my food. I cooked, yeah. I got three more. This is my quarantine. I'm very mess. I'm sorry, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye. Good night. Yeah. I'm a good one. I think it goes well. I know we've been deal with things here best we can we've been stuck in quarantine together and over our first anniversary uh we actually were together so hopefully April 16th was really great for you Gary's in here he's got my little prison tv and his little thing of toys he's just into his toy if he comes back in here in a minute usually he'll see me and start screaming and run after me he's really cute about screaming right down the hallway um but staying married for that long hopefully we'll be will be we've had a roller coaster we really have um if they had a too much for tv at 9 a fiance edition we would just fill it up um some things where um she won divorce and some things that that happened that i could have easily divorced her for she's some things are completely uncalled for but we both forgave each other um me being a crazy whack job and I'm not going to make a comment on that, but uh, we made it through, and now we're married still. We're getting through things day by day, even though sometimes you get stressed out and you're not happy, but you're still getting all right. I'm good because it's not family. It is only flowers. What? Flowers? But uh, this is life. Only flowers? You mean only flowers? I flowers. think they're married. Yeah, it's not just it, flowers. It is not only flowers. Oh, it's not just flowers. Yeah, it's true. It's a roller coaster of drama and stuff. It really is. And I've learned a lot, though. I've learned um, to basically let her think she's always right. Sometimes she's right, and I, I dodge a bullet. Other times when she thinks she's right and she's wrong, um, she'll actually uh, make it easier for future arguments. Uh, taking my opinion seriously. Um, in the bedroom, I, I, I just I let her put whatever she wants in here. Let her the whole closet space, but she she took up the whole closet pretty freaking quick. So I got her another closet over at Walmart and filled that sucker up. And then, uh, you know, sometimes we get out of hand. 
So we make sure we got handcuffs in here. Keep everything really good. We got a bunch of different, we got all kinds of different sets of handcuffs and stuff. And then we have a feather duster. Make sure we keep everything nice and, nice and, nice and clean. And then, uh, I don't know, let's get a little thing here to help sweep and you know, sweep, sweep up stuff. Anyway, <clears throat> our craziness. But no, I let her uh, kind of take over in there and keep everything as it is. The only thing I didn't like was everything in, in here, of course, we had everything she, Pierre is, is Mickey Mouse, even his diapers, everything's Mickey Mouse, is the photo by the bed. It's me a little bit, and I'll show you here. Hold on. It's a picture of her and Mickey Mouse. Look at how angry Minnie Mouse is in the corner. I totally feel you, Minnie. So that was the one thing that was kind of weird. She put that in the bedroom by the bed. I thought it'd be a photo of me and her, photo of her, photo, you know, of the, the baby, family photos, something like that, but just her and Mickey. She has her first love. Um, of course, we have our hand sanitizer. I have a whole year supply on here. I had that before this whole thing happened. They got I got her her little test. She wasn't too happy about this one. But you know me. I like my wide variety of little weird tests and things like that. But uh, the thing I learned was, and it took me a while to figure this one out, is when women says she's hungry, she wants anything, and I'm using the one charge of food, cooking or whatnot. Um, so I would try to go out and get something. Either, either come back, and two things that happened a lot to aggravate me. One, I would bring something back, and I, was like, I don't want that. Just forget it. Just forget it. Just forget it. Because I'm supposed to be psychic and be able to know what she wants, but she don't even know what she wants. Um, or I would go out and get something that I thought she would like, and then something I would like, and she ended up eating my food, and then I'm stuck with food that I got for her that I don't even like. So I'll go out and get two or three things we both like, that way I equally get hopefully at least something. Um, or, the most successful thing is I get these little things at Frankstown's Meals, which she likes different things in places, so I'll get her an entree one of her favorite places, like a hamburger somewhere in her favorite places, something like that, uh, or a taco burrito somewhere, and then I'll go to Chick-fil-A, get Chick-fil-A chicken milkshake, and then McDonald's french fries, uh, large, hot, it's gonna be fresh, hot, and I gotta drive like a mad taxi driver to get home, make sure it's, you know, because it's a little bit cold, she ain't gonna touch it. And then also, of course, she likes Coke Noise. And I've got her Pepsi, and she drank it, and then I tell her, I don't, I've learned, if you don't tell her halfway through, you tell her halfway through, then they'll stop drinking it. And if you don't, and they finish it, they're in denial. They'll, they'll say, no, no, that was Coke. That was totally Coke. It was not Pepsi. Whatever. I, I just, I don't even get into that whole thing on that. Um... Let her go clothes shopping, let her take care of herself, let her do things, keep her happy. I uh, try to go out and get surprises and stuff. Sometimes I go out and get flowers and things like that. But not only get surprise flowers like that, one thing I like to do is occasionally I'll go out and I'll actually pick my own flowers, my own little bouquet, uh, and do things like that. So everything from a Frankenstein meal, going around different places to make a meal, uh, and bringing her her favorite combined meal, uh, to going out, getting flowers, things like that. I try to. Or I'll try to use Google Translate and write some romantic letter. Sometimes Translate doesn't work too good, so I have to have somebody else, um, a Brazilian help me translate it so I don't say anything too crazy because uh, I've, I've, I've done some things translate really, really off and very inappropriately in the past. But maybe things are good. Make some good hair of each other. Hopefully you do. Never know. I actually got this one off her. She got her hair dyed blue. I actually swept up the beautician's floor and she's like, oh, it's so sweet. He's cleaning my floor up. And then she saw me putting it back, taking it home. She's like, this guy is a weirdo. But anyway, Pierre's in there still playing with, nice playing with baby shark. He's very independent. He's very, very good blessing of a baby, uh, very healthy. So hopefully, I'm not sure if you have kids or not, but if you do, hopefully you have very good, healthy kids. Uh, and Karini, no, 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 I you're just say goodbye. Pop. I'm gonna eat, just say goodbye. Come on. She doesn't like she doesn't like talking when she's eating. I get it though. This is this thing though. I'm driving her crazy. I'm in quarantine with me. I see Allie. You could be stuck. Uh, I hope I'm saying your name right. Stuck in quarantine with an annoying guy like me. But you got an amazing guy like Josh. You're okay. And you got it, sweetie. She's like, I'm gonna kill you. She's so mad. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good time. <sighs> She's so friendly and happy. See, he's worse worse. be stuck in the quarantine with a crack job like me. <laughs> anyway, re I'm sorry. Uh, we wish you the absolute best. We're just at the same time. Kareen Paul, uh, Having the best of 2020. And stay healthy. Let me see if Pierre is... He's still playing this toy. But we wish you guys the absolute best. Stay healthy and hit us up anytime, all right? We even do a video call something with you guys, all right? Have a good one and make the best of you can of the bad situation.
my self isolation. Um, Josh tells me that you guys are celebrating your fourth wedding anniversary. So I want to say happy wedding anniversary. If you're seeing this, it's April 16th. Um, Josh says you guys also enjoy below deck and watching uh, all the seasons and uh, like me, so I love you. Um, I hope you guys have a great wedding anniversary. I feel like while it might not be ideal to be uh, in self-isolation during a special event, a wedding anniversary is like the best possible one because there's two of you, you know, there's at least some of the some of the normal options of celebration are still available and I'm, good for you, good for you too. Um, and I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and happy. And I also wanna say thank you to both of you for getting married um, four years ago because uh, it gave me the opportunity to make this video to say happy fourth wedding anniversary, which means I had to take a shower and put on a little makeup and it was good for my morale, so thank you. Hey Allie, this is Ozzy, the Mean Mug Pug, and she just wanted to wish you a very happy fourth anniversary. You and Josh. Have a great anniversary, guys. What's up, Allie? It's Melissa Gorga. Uh, I know that you happen to be an OG Jersey girl, and I love that so much. Thank you for being a fan of the show, and I know that you grew up in Atlantic Highlands. Yes, I love a good Jersey girl. Well, my real reason for being here is that I just wanted to wish you a very happy fourth anniversary. Um, I know it's on the 16th with your hubby, and you guys sound so, so cute. Four years, that's good, let's go. When you make it to five, you're like winning. So, <laughs> uh, just kidding, I just celebrated 15 with Joe. So, good luck to you guys, congratulations. Listen, making it two years these days is a lot. So, um, congratulations, I love a good Jersey girl. Um, I just wanted to come out, surprise you, put a little smile on your face. I know this is a crazy time out there, um, but you know, sometimes little personal messages can help. So have the best anniversary, guys. Be home, quarantine together, cuddle up, grab a glass of wine. I may or may not be drinking a glass of wine now while I'm doing this, um, but have a great, uh, Josh, there you are. Okay, I didn't know your name, it's Josh. All right, Josh, you are an awesome husband for doing this. I'm sure Allie loves it. Happy anniversary, guys, Mwah. You love pugs maybe even more than you love Josh. But Moosey here wanted to wish you a happy anniversary. Say happy fourth anniversary, Moosey. Say happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Good boy. All right, happy anniversary, you too. Moosey loves you, right, Moosey? Don't you love him? Don't you love him? Happy anniversary. I'll go there for you. Anything you want, I'll go do for you, girl. Baby, I'll go pray for you. We are you good day till the time it is gone. I could day for you. Anything you want, I got you for you, girl. Baby, I could pray for you. We are you good day till the time it is gone. Me, I don't forget all the things you do in my life. Baby, can I kiss you? The kiss is at the zone for my life. I'll be with you all my life. I will stick to you. I made you to be my home. Cause you're all I need The smile on your face and the love in your mouth Has turned this around in my life or for good My love is all about you, my story just about you I'm proud to be with you, me and you together I'll go there for you Anything you want, I'll go do for you, girl Baby, I'll go pray for you Hey, Ali. Your awesome husband, Josh, told me that you guys are huge Vanderpump Rules fans and that you support the hell out of me. So thank you so much. I just want to wish you both a happy fourth anniversary. Sending you all the love in the world. Be safe.